ESO's Paranal Observatory in the Atacama Desert. An ocean of calm and scientific investigation. But not today. Film crews and actors have descended on the site, recording the latest James Bond blockbuster, and the Paranal Observatory has a starring role. This is the ESOcast, cutting-edge science and life behind the scenes of ESO, the European Southern Observatory, exploring the universe's ultimate frontier with our host, Dr. J, a.k.a. Dr. Joe Liska. Hello and welcome to this very first episode of the ESOcast. This brand new vodcast is dedicated to bringing you the hottest science and the latest news from the European Southern Observatory, home to the world's most advanced telescopes. For this first episode, we actually have some rather unusual news to report on. One of ESO's sites in Chile, the Paranal Observatory, featured prominently as an exotic location in the filming of the movie Quantum of Solace, the latest adventure of that most famous of secret agents, James Bond. Paranal Observatory is home to ESO's very large telescope. Boasting an array of four giant 8-meter eyes, it is without a doubt the most advanced telescope in the world. Paranal is located on a mountain 2,600 metres above sea level in the Atacama Desert, thought to be the driest place on Earth. The high altitude and extreme dryness make it perfect for astronomical observations. But the conditions at Paranal come with a price. In this forbidding desert environment, virtually nothing can grow outside. The humidity drops below 10%, there are intense ultraviolet rays from the sun, and the high altitude leaves people short of breath. Living in this extremely isolated place feels like visiting another planet. So it's no wonder the site was chosen to film Quantum of Solace. The movie continues the story of secret agent James Bond, played again by Englishman Daniel Craig. This time he's determined to take revenge on the organization that caused the death of the woman he loved. And it's this quest that brings him to the desert. I think that the landscapes and what the landscape gives us and what it gives, a, gives to, to Bond and the character is, is really, really good because in a sense, you know, we're shooting in a desert and that's sort of a reflection of Bond's character in herself because the desert always brings, in, uh, brings along a certain loneliness and a certain solitude and a sort of so, that solitude and loneliness sort of reflects who Bond is at this point. We're about two hours east of uh, Antofagasta, which is on the Chilean, North Chilean coast in the middle of nowhere, up, up how many feet up, about 10,000 feet up over here? Uh, we were lucky enough to be uh, accepted up there really because it's a research center. So we were, uh, we were very privileged to be filming up um, at the observatory uh, and using it for one of our key locations in the movie. Um, it's a stunning place. To make it possible for people to live and work at Paranal, a hotel or residencia was built in the base camp providing a refuge from the arid environment outside. Here, returning from long shifts at installations on the mountain, the crew can breathe moist air and relax, sheltered from the harsh conditions. The Residencia's award-winning design, including an enclosed tropical garden and pool under a futuristic domed roof, gives its interior a feeling of open space within the protective walls. It is a true haven in the desert. This unique building serves as a backdrop in the Bond film. The Residencia is, in fact, the hideout of Maverick Dominic Green, played by Mathieu Amaric. It's his facade. It's his nice side. This is to save the planet. It's an eco park. Great idea. Using natural resources, not to pollute the planet, try to plant trees and kill the desert and great stuff. The Paranal Residencia is elegant, built with robust and inexpensive materials. Taking advantage of an existing depression in the ground, architects created a unique subterranean construction with a single facade opening towards the Pacific Ocean, far below at a distance of about 12 kilometers. It has the same color as the desert and blends perfectly into the surroundings. Natural daylight is brought into the building through a 35 meter wide glass covered dome, a rectangular courtyard roof and skylight hatches. 
The originality of this design made it possible to create an interior with a feeling of open space, despite the underground location. The film crew of about 300 people shot some of the most critical scenes in the movie at Paranal. The ESO director general, Tim Dezio, happened to be on site during the filming. We're all delighted that they're here and it is extremely good to see how careful the crew is with the surroundings and how mindful they are of the fact that they are in a, an operating, working observatory. So clearly the crew couldn't do all of the filming at the observatory itself. So they created a mock-up of the Paranal Residencia at the world-famous 007 stage at Pinewood Studios. In reality, of course, the Paranal Residencia is home to all the technicians, engineers and astronomers that make the very large telescope, or VLT, one of the most successful and efficient science machines ever built. Who knows, maybe one day the VLT itself will feature in a James Bond movie. This is Dr. J signing off for the ESOcast. The sky is no longer the limit. <laughs>